Pharaoh, we're, we're training, uh, we're training Pharaoh down. We've started and he's starting to respond right now. And he was very resistant with sit. And he was very resistant with down too. And Pharaoh really wasn't motivated. I, I will try and lure the dog down by using a raw diet, like a, like a piece of steak. And then I'd give it to him, but just use, you know, and he was sort of semi-interested, but not really. So that wasn't working. So we had to do the, the old fashioned way, the, the more direct method, which is downward pressure with the leash, but pushing on the shoulder blades in a downward motion by saying down. And that, that was effective, but he was still resistant. You might get a dog that's real resistant but sooner or later, they start seeing that, like, it, no matter what they do, whatever methods you're, you know, they're gonna try, you're gonna, you're gonna continue and, you know, make sure that the dog is compliant. So just be real consistent with the persistent dog, and they're just, all right, I'll, I'll do it. And that, that's where we're at right now with him. So if you, if you have one of these dogs that is not food motivated, it, it doesn't really matter. Just put the dog in the position. So we would, I, he, I could be doing the standing up, doing the standing up and using the downward pressure with my foot and we've started doing that too. But a lot of times I, I work down first on a table just to make it easier on my, my knees and my hip. It just makes it easier. It's, it's real simple. So downward pressure with the leash while going downward pressure on the shoulder blades like this. Here, Pharaoh, down, no, down down that's ridiculous okay down now you just need the dog to start going in the downward motion which he did that's great it doesn't have to be perfect you just get that that action and then you tighten it up with them standing next to you so just get them doing the downward you know motion and then you can tight it, tighten it up so that they're you know not out to the side or whatever just get them get them doing it so when they get to, when he, when they get in the downward position right they're like this that's when you give them the good boy also work on sit while you're doing this <clears throat> here sit good good boys come on buddy down there you go good boy good good boy that's good down down that's good down here sit come on sit good boy that was awesome man Pharaoh, down no down good good boy down now with him now it's to the point where I can just put my hand on his shoulder blades there, there really isn't any pressure it's just and it's the same thing with the dog like this when you're teaching them to sit and they don't want to sit and you're pushing their ass down it gets less and less and less. My hands are filthy. They really are. I, I, I've been working on my house and in my garden. It's so nice out. It is. It's so nice out. I'm loving it. But you, you start using less and less pressure to the point where like what, it's, what it should be tomorrow is it's just downward pressure with the leash and probably not even the hand touching the, the dog or you're just making the appearance of like you're going to touch the dog and then you start backing away from there do you i hope you understand what i'm saying and then it's just the leash and then it's just a, a you standing next to the dog and using your foot in a downward motion and then you're not even using the leash you might even just raise your foot a little bit while you're standing and then you're not raising your foot at all He'll get it. He's gonna get it. Look, he's he's a, he's like a little he's like a curled up little munchkin face. What a cute dog. Pharaoh, okay, sit. Sit. That's good. Good job, buddy. Good job. Sit. Look at the profile. That is ridiculous. Pharaoh. Pharaoh down. Let's see if we'll go down without with the just the downward pressure. Pharaoh down. No down. Good boy, that was just with the leash pressure. So now now he's really responding well. So so tomorrow 
So since I didn't even have to put, put my hand on his back that time, that's an indication I'll switch to just the foot and the leash tomorrow and start working him down with me standing up and start trying to tighten it up so that he is, he, he is, he's doing it, you know, the right way. It's not just about your dog doing the action of down, it's about them doing it properly at heel. That's, that's my neighbor's dog. Still a leash reactive dog. He's, he's being pretty good. That is ridiculous. Th this dog is as ridiculous looking as Bella. Two ridiculous looking dogs. Seriously. What a little freak. Both of them. Both of them. All dogs are sort of freaks. Pharaoh. No, Pharaoh. Oh, that worked great. Good boy. Good boy.